stock theft may be the quintessential rural crime, but it's probably one of the least reported experiences of crime. The obvious being because the farmer over time likely has realized nothing can be done more or less. You know, they might check on their stock every couple of weeks at best, every couple of months sometimes. When did the stock go missing, right? So they call up the police. The police have no evidentiary basis on which to go off. If there were tire marks or tire tracks or anything like that, that's, that could have been washed away. And a lot of these farmers are repeat uh, victims. So they indicate quite significant amounts of repeat victimization. So they very well could report stock theft for the first time and it didn't go anywhere. You know, and they feel very frustrated with the police. And the other half of the story is the police feel very frustrated with the situation as, as well because you know there's very little they can do about it in this regard. But now we see particularly with the advent of the Rural Crime Prevention Team, early preliminary results out of our survey which has focused on farmers' perceptions of the Rural Crime Prevention Team appear to indicate an uptick in confidence. That is, farmers are seeing that the police are trying their best to do more, trying their best to utilize different methods as we saw here today to tackle this problem that is stock theft. Farm crime survey is going fantastic. We've gotten an overwhelming response from the community and from farmers, obviously. We need this information to be able to have the data that allows us to tackle farm crime and specifically tackle stock theft from an evidentiary basis. The rural itself makes it very difficult to combat this using traditional crime prevention tools that are very much built for the urban environment. You know, you have $2,000 or more walking around on four legs and very few eyes to see you doing the act. And so it's trying to find these pinch points or mechanisms or tools that we can introduce to that decision-making process to interrupt that. Regional universities are about place-based knowledge. We're about providing those routes into connecting with the, di the different layers that make up the complex social culture of our regions. And it's about providing local knowledge, but also ensuring that where additional knowledge is required, there's an immediate connection to secure that. All those connections that we've built over decades are now available to the police force and other agencies to develop in order that the well-being of all, the security of all, is maintained.